I dreamed of this auditorium before it ever became a reality. I stood out on this campus and envisioned these buildings. I heard the chorus sing. I heard the band play. I saw the graduates march across a stage when there wasn't a building in sight. For over half a century, Lubbock Christian University has used music to bring together a variety of individuals from all over the world. Music is a tool that LCU has used to engage students who may have otherwise limited their involvement on campus. In 1979, uh, I was getting ready to go to college. That summer I had an accident and I had to have my head shaved so I could have stitches. Well, I hadn't grown that hair back by any means when I headed off to school and we had a chorus retreat. Well, I was not going to go anywhere without wearing a cap because of how foolish I thought that I looked. Uh, but I did know that Dr. Hines wanted the hats removed inside the building. So a couple of them went and talked to him and got a, a, an exception for me, which I thought was really neat. But the amazing thing that, that I got out of the whole thing was uh, not 30 minutes into our time together, I felt so comfortable with everyone around me, with Dr. Hines, with Brother Cox, uh, and the officers in the choir that I just took my hat off on my own. It all began on August 16, 1957, when Dr. Wayne Hines taught students the newly composed LCC alma mater. Shortly after, the chorus had its first official rehearsal, and on October 7, 1957, had its first official concert. Throughout the years, Lubbock Christian has encompassed music within various groups, including a cappella chorus, praise choir, Meister Singers, Chamber Singers, Forte, Best Friends, Concert and Jazz Band, Hard Travelers, and many more. Beyond these performing groups, music has been a staple in campus livelihood. Master Follies has brought the entire student body, past and present, together for the annual musical intramural competition. One of the great LCU traditions that we have is Master Follies. And one thing that I always enjoy as a participant is it brings together these group of different people who have different musical backgrounds. A lot of alumni, they come back from Master Follies because they remember that time and they remember their club that they were in. And it's also a time where new clubs are also recognized and it's the first time they're really established to alumni. And it's, you always root for the club you were in and then you always want to see how others are doing. Aside from Master Follies, the university has successfully performed numerous stage musicals including The Sound of Music, The Music Man, Oklahoma, and Camelot. Events on a smaller scale, such as Coke and Nacho and Talent Show, give smaller groups and individuals a platform from which they can contribute to the musical foundation of LCU. As big as music is on campus, it doesn't stop there. Different groups from LCU have not only performed all around the United States, but have traveled all around the world. Going to Ukraine, I mean, we didn't know their language, we didn't know how to communicate with them, but we were able to preach the gospel through music which is so incredible because you have people coming to you asking for Bibles, asking, you know, thank you for coming to Ukraine to help us. It's just, you cannot explain the impact that music has on people's lives. One of the greatest things about music at LCU is chapel. Uh, we get to meet uh, four times a week and we come together and we just get to sing two or three songs and then we have a small devotional. One of my favorite chapels is when Best Friends sings because it's all dedicated just to singing. So we sing uh, five or six songs and it's just an awesome time because we get to come and we get to just sing for 20 minutes and we get to forget about school and we forget about stress. Whether it's something as subtle as daily chapel or local integration with other schools, music is a part of everyday life for students and staff alike at LCU.